Hello and welcome to uh, yet another episode uh, on Asia Tech Journal. Uh, and like always, we have a very special guest here today, uh, Pragya Mittal, uh, who is the director of uh, AVFI Logitech Private Limited. Uh, this is a company uh, that provides end to end grocery delivery services operating with for intra city uh, deliveries. Uh, they also have a full stack, uh, full stack uh, carbon negative organization, uh, in, you know, in terms of that uh, definition. And uh, they're helping the grocery and e-commerce giants achieve their carbon neutrality goals. Very, very interesting topic. Very interesting, you know, field to be in. Uh, Pragya, first of all, thank you so much for taking out time and joining us here uh, on the show today. Uh, it's our pleasure, definitely. This start by requesting you to explain to us what is the idea all about, and uh, you know, what was the motivation that you guys had uh, to come up with this solution. I'll just explain the brief idea from where EV5 was born. So, uh, like all others say that uh, these are lockdown babies. So, EV5 definitely is a lockdown baby. So, um, I'll give a brief background about myself. Uh, my husband, Vinik Mittal, he is into uh, solar panel manufacturing and it's uh, by the name of Navita Solar and it's now almost 10 years now that we are into this field. Um, almost three years back, we started a battery manufacturing company in the name of Renault India and uh, that was around lockdown when we were just discussing that uh, since uh, battery is being manufactured in-house, so manufacturing electric vehicles is not that difficult, so we should start with that. And that is where we were just uh, working out on the idea and we came up with like, we have a lot of manufacturing units in our hands, so let's come up with the service sector this time and let's explore this area. And that is where a friend, uh, a friend of ours, Dev Rishi Arora, who is also the director in this uh, company, uh, he comes from a logistics background. He, his family has been into logistics from his grandfather's age, almost six decades now. Uh, so we were just discussing our ideas together. That is where we, he said that uh, he comes from the logistics background. We come from the green industry. So this can be a very nice amalgamation then where we can start with electric vehicles and deploy them uh, and enter this service field because uh, definitely operations is something that he is a master with. And when it comes to financing, uh, handling finances and these companies, so we have an experience we, where we already have a lot of companies in our portfolio, in our family businesses. So we thought that this could, this could be a very nice amalgamation together and that is how we came up with the idea of EV5. We started our company back in September 2021 where we started approaching these companies and Big Basket was like our first client and uh, eventually we started working with Big Basket, we started ordering vehicles and we started finding out what is a uh, what finances are good, be it electric two-wheelers, electric three-wheelers. It happened in March that we onboarded Swiggy. And uh, with Swiggy, we deployed only two wheelers. And uh, in the month of April, uh, when it was when we uh, raised our first round. And uh, since then, uh, there has been uh, no looking back. So we, see, uh, we have now closed contracts with eight companies all together. And we uh, have multiple OEMs in our hands. We have multiple uh, collaborations with uh, uh, charging companies and debt companies etc. So <clears throat> over the months we have uh, de developed the whole of the background that is needed for this EV ecosystem to support us to actually grow and then in the coming months uh, since uh, right now we are just uh, working in Surat and uh, Ahmedabad is something that we are looking forward for and in the coming months we are soon launching with Ahmedabad and uh, definitely coming up with the next round as well. Wonderful, very, very interesting. Uh, and you know, that is usually one of our you know, uh, initial questions as to uh, you know, what is the USP that you have, but I've, uh, you've already explained the USP. And, and in this world, at this point of time, when we have so much uh, you know, concern about um, the, uh, climate change and, and uh, the way the environment is being troubled and the way uh, you know, its, uh, its symptoms are all across the world that we are witnessing it, I think solutions like these are, are something that we uh, really require in our world. Uh, but uh, you know, moving forward and trying to understand uh, more about what you do and uh, what's the kind of business, you know, would you try and uh, give us an understanding of what you've learned so far? You know, uh, how important uh, is it to establish a supply chain and how resilient that supply chain needs to be in order to you know su succeed in an environment that you work in? So definitely, uh, establishing the supply chain is a, a 
it has been a task initially when it was difficult for the companies to accept the electric vehicles because definitely they are very happy with the ice vehicles that are working so uh, adaptability becomes a question and especially we come from a tier 2 city so uh, over here there is no infrastructure particularly for these electric vehicles so adaptability becomes a bigger question when they have a uh, doubt if these uh, how will you manage these fleets so uh, this is where the usp of my company comes into picture so there are people who say why did you start up with a two uh, tier 2 city when you have a lot of opportunity when you had started with a tier 1 city but since we belong to a tier 2 city we know uh, what kind of growth opportunities we have over here we were very dedicated that definitely tier 2 is what we are looking forward for and in the coming months as well the mission what by our company put forth is that we are targeting all the tier 2 cities of india and by 2030 we target that we would be covering all the tier 2 cities that is what the market we are looking forward for because definitely that market is completely unexplored and it is uh, not so in uh, the focus of the other companies that are in the market so that it gives us a upper edge when it comes to the competition we are looking for mm-hmm. and uh, since when definitely when we started working with one company and we started giving them the uh, returns because uh, on an average these companies save around 30 to 35 percent of expenses when they are working with like electric feet as compared to the ice vehicles so once they started getting these numbers and uh, along with that they are relieved from the hardships of handling these uh, drivers because the drivers are half our payroll so the companies have to just make one shot payment to us and we are handling the pf the drivers the insurances the salaries and everything so this becomes we are their three third party logistics partners so this becomes a very helping hand for them and now the acceptability has actually come and that is how we were able to close the contracts with other companies as well and now the thing is ki we are waiting for the deployment of vehicles while you order the vehicles and you receive the vehicles and you deploy them it's a long process so the process is taking time the there, there is no shortage of demand okay so uh, you know i just want to understand how difficult is uh, right now uh, you know procuring and putting electric vehicles or uh, you know vehicles which are environment friendly uh, into the market i, I mean i want to understand this because i also want to understand you know how hard it would be uh, to do something like that with the other sectors uh, when we are all talking about uh, you know options uh, greener solutions to our transportation how difficult is the manufacturing or procuring so definitely uh, there are a lot of players right now who have come in the market and and everyone somewhere or the other things that they are the best but when it comes to uh, Uh, deciding on the right uh, vehicle uh, OEM that we have to work with, this is something that actually took a lot of time of ours. We had gone through a lot of R and D where we ordered a lot of vehicles from different OEMs. We have uh, run them on the roads with different uh, vendors, with different uh, drivers, and then we could just shortlist two OEMs that that we are working with right now. One definitely is Hero Electric, and the other one is Ampere and. Uh, bounce that we are looking forward with uh, it is very important that we uh, decide on which oems that we are working with because uh, these com- these vehicles are running on the road for delivery purpose it's not for the commute purpose so unless and until the vehicle is not sturdy enough they will not give you those kind of kilometers and once you are losing on the kilometers you lose a lot of revenue on the vehicles so right. definitely the vehicles that have come in the market all of them are not that efficient and a lot of study goes behind the battery that is being used in the vehicles there are a lot of chemistries in these uh, nmc chemistry lfp uh, mca and lot of them are available in the market over here again a strategic play comes in play uh, when uh, our uh, battery manufacturing company renault india that comes into picture Correct. so we are also developing uh, a lot of research is going on over there where we can develop the batteries in house for the vehicles that we are procuring so this will help us to have a hold on the back software that is being used on the batteries so once the software the behaviors that we're talking about is you uh, manufactured in house we have the source code in house that gives a lot of information on the vehicles the battery the cell level data and everything so this will increase the uptime of the vehicles the life of the vehicles and the life of the batteries as well so again we, uh, we uh, since 
we have all these companies in house so this r&d is actually possible so in the coming months we will be able to come up with something that's very productive uh, i would also like to ask you at this stage about uh, your you know your uh, funding your investment fundraise that you've done give us a sense of how is it looking we come from a background where we uh, are all uh, businessmen we have family business which run for years uh, so fundraise was something actually uh, for the first time we had to come in the market so this was a friends and family round uh, we could close it uh, between our circle itself but we were lucky enough uh, so the wfc uh, is also on our portfolio then there is speed and scale incubators and two three other big investors who could actually find sense in our business and they uh, could enter the first round so we closed our first round uh, in april and we raised around 100000 uh, us dollars wonderful uh, and what is the uh, expansion plan like you you told me already that you're looking at a tier tier to market but what is the outlook like where do you want to go where do you want to see your company uh, you know just say two years down the line uh, definitely uh, what our plan is that we are playing regional we are in surat right in the next uh, this year itself amdavad is in target by the end of march we will be having 2000 vehicles in amdavad and surat total and in the next year baroda rajkot and two three other cities in gujarat are in our target and then tier two cities like nagpur mysore and such cities that have at least a population around 30 to 40 lakhs it's what we are targeting to because that is the number that is required to generate some good number of uh, revenues over there excellent uh, pragya that's all the time that i have here on the show but i would you know once again uh, wish you all the luck yeah you know, these are the solutions that uh, there's a future of uh, uh mankind or human kind would rather require at various levels and you've taken up you've taken a leap i'm uh, i'm sure it will uh, grow even beyond and we wish you all the best with all your efforts thank you so much today thanks for your words